Well, I consider the main uh, mission of uh, the department is to promote uh, basic cell biological research that advances our uh, knowledge and uh, mechanistic understanding of uh, how macromolecular complexes integrated uh, signaling networks and uh, uh, organelles are built, maintained and uh, regulated in the, in the living cell. A major theme in contemporary cell biology, or biology in general for that matter, is trying to understand the logic and the flow of biological information. And the process that we're interested in, clathrin-mediated endocytosis, a subset of intracellular trafficking operations, is really a beautiful paradigm in order to try and understand and dissect this flow of biological information. Faculty in the Department of Cell Biology study a broad spectrum of um, biological systems and molecules, from uh, ion channels, transporters um, that are important in uh, neurotransmission and um, ion homeostasis, receptors that mediate intercellular signaling, DNA repair and cell cycle. Uh, we also study mechanisms of uh, cell polarity. In the department, we are um, pushing forward uh, development of uh, new technologies such as microscopy imaging and uh, um, proteomics. Our major strength is in the area of um, membrane trafficking research. We have um, a number of faculty who study fundamental mechanisms of um, formation of vesicles and vesic vesicular transport. We have um, another group of faculty who study um, mechanisms of endocytosis and recycling and membrane trafficking of a specific receptor, transporter, or and protein. All these uh, molecules are important in uh, different you know, key uh, processes in the cell. I have been working on gap junctions, and I have demonstrated that cells communicate a cyclic AMP molecule between two cells that could therefore bring about the response in a second cell. In addition, I've looked at internalization of the junction, and since the very beginning of junctions, we may have known that they communicated and what they look like, but we've now evolved to the point that we not only can look at the kind of composition of the, of the pore, we can control the pore, we can upregulate the pore, we can knock the pore out. We know that the pore is involved in a number of diseases. The Center for Bi uh, Biologic Imaging is different from other imaging resources for, for several reasons. The first thing is it's driven and run as an intellectual enterprise. It's run by faculty who have at the core of their research imaging, there's several of us, and uh, we work together as a cohesive team with different research foci, but together we all depend on imaging to perform our, our scientific function. Secondly, I would say the scale. Um, in terms of resources, we have a very large number of microscopes, each of which is focused towards a different problem. But, um, and the third is the way we interact. We, we, we don't work like a core resource. We work as an intellectual resource and we work with folk to solve the scientific question at, at, that's being addressed. New technology is an important part of the cell biology department. We're integrating these new capabilities in two ways. First, we have outstanding core facilities that contain modern mass spectrometers that are used for the analysis of peptides and proteins. Second, we have research faculty that are pushing the limits of these technologies and finding new ways to use them to study biology. Mass spectrometry represents a series of new techniques for measuring peptides and proteins that are fundamentally changing what we can observe within a cell. We're able to look at proteins on the molecular level and not just see their presence and abundance, but also measure flux and post-translational modifications. The Department of Cell Biology at the University of Pittsburgh here offers the tools, resources, and most importantly, the people to help uh, guide or develop the research program of a junior investigator like myself. Uh, for my own work, the access to the uh, top-notch uh, microscopy facilities and excellent uh, mass spec facilities can help both the imaging aspect of my work as well as the proteomic aspect of my work both of which will really help me to, to develop my research program here. Graduate student training has uh, really evolved over the past 20 years, especially since I was in graduate school. Um, a lot of what we try and do here is to keep them abreast of a lot of the new technologies that are um, available to students. And obviously, getting to get your degree, you have to go through a lot of different types of technologies to get the answers that you want. The person who is trained as a cell biologist is able to really slot into any ongoing contemporary research program. And the reason for this, I would say, is because the cell represents kind of like the common currency 
in contemporary biological investigation. So if you're a geneticist or if you're a pharmacologist or if you're a developmental biologist, ultimately an aspect of your research is always going to deal with individual cell function. We made a lot of advances and what I would say for the future is the best is yet to come and I'm waiting for the surprises.